first. We're going to cut down this board so that it's square. This is square. Okay, that's about enough right there. Put that out of the way. Need a push stick. We got to dock off the corners on here so instead of a square we have uh, an octagon I guess. Because of our jig that we made, <clears throat> your goal is going to be to make this no wider than an inch and a half. Right now it's at an inch and three quarters, so we got to move it in and keep on doing it. And we're going to do that to all our four corners here. So between there and there, it has to be an inch and a half. Between there and there, it has to be an inch and a half. Mm -hmm. We don't need to show you the whole thing. Hit pause. Yeah. shape right here and so all the way across it should be about a about an inch and a half about an inch and a half about an inch and a half okay. all right so here's our little jig that we made now if you look right down the middle of the hole there you'll see that there's two different size holes there's the outer hole and then there's the, the inner hole here your goal should be to have the blade raise up just enough so that it just barely comes in contact with the with the, the smaller hole. So back up. So in order to keep this on here, I've kind of made this so that it, it pinches the, the table for us, kind of like that, mm -hmm. and holds it in place, and so it's nice and secure. So now next. We're going to run the board through there and hopefully it'll make a nice round for us. And don't Here in the end of your dowel, okay, it's supposed to be octagonal shape. We're just going to kind of eyeball the middle of our dowel and give us a nice little hole there. Then next, we're going to take a lag bolt. In my pocket, it's in my pocket. We're going to take our lag bolt here. Start screwing and drill it in. Drill it right down the middle. Don't have to go in real far. 
Okay, and that allows you to twist your um, your stick as you're going through your jig. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Okay, now the end of this should be just about the same size as our hole right here, but because our blade is sticking up and it's going to cut away our material, we need to kind of sharpen the end of the stick so that it gets in our little hole. So to do that, I just turn on the table saw and just kind of just roll it around a little bit and we'll see if we can get it a little bit sharp so it fits in that middle hole. Yeah, see, all we did is we took, kind of took the edges off, more or less kind of like sharpening the pencil. Yep. And not enough, so we're going to have to sharpen some more. We'll get back to you. Okay, so now we have sharpened it enough so it'll fit inside of our little hole Just right like there. that. Just like that. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to take our drill, put it here on the end. Just like that. And we're going to get ready. Go ahead and turn it on, James. Choke it up so that it's not on the blade anymore, and you can turn off your saw and retrieve your staff. But it as long as your son doesn't hmm. move it around and make it go back into the blade. Yeah, it seems to have worked. We'll, we'll, we'll be back when, when we're done sanding it. Okay, so all we're going to do here, you, even you, though this stick is less than perfect, of course, um, we got some 80 grit sandpaper here. We're going to take it just in our hand. And it's nice and lightly go along it. And it takes off some of the burrs and it makes it nice and smooth to use for, I don't know, a walkie stick or a staff, a wizard staff, or whatever you want to make it. And so you continue to do that, and you can use finer and finer grits of sandpaper. Like I said, that's the one that we did there. Here's another one that we did. Now granted, it doesn't have any kind of precision and you might be able to take this same process and actually make something a little more precise. Um, but for our meads, we're just trying to make some walking sticks, some staffs, and so it worked out pretty good. Um, it's a little bit scary to do the first time. Yeah. Uh, because you're afraid you might mess up. Yeah, you might mess up, and you don't want to get hurt, that's for sure. So... He already got hurt once. He doesn't want to get Be quiet, hurt. boy. Well, and that's about it. That's how you turn a 2x4 into a walking stack.